An Islamic flag is a flag either representing an Islamic denomination or religious order, state, civil society, military force or other entity associated with Islam. Islamic flags have a distinct history due to the Islamic prescription on anachronism, making particular colors, inscriptions or symbols such as crescent and star popular choices. Since the time of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, flags with certain colors were associated with Islam according to the traditions. Since then, historical caliphates, modern nation states, certain denominations as well as religious movements have adopted flags to symbolize their Islamic identity. History <laughs> Early Islam Before the advent of Islam, banners as tools for signaling had already been employed by the pre-Islamic Arab tribes and the Byzantines. Early Muslim army naturally deployed banners for the same purpose. Early Islamic flag, however, greatly simplified its design by using plain color, due to the Islamic prescriptions on anachronism. According to the Islamic traditions, the Quraysh had a black liw and a white and black raya. It further states that Muhammad had an alam in white nicknamed the Young Eagle, Arabic, al ukab and a raya in black, said to be made from his wife Aisha's headcloth. This larger flag was known as the Banner of the Eagle, Arabic, al rayat al ukab as well as the Black Banner, Arabic, al rayat as sword. Other examples are the prominent Arab military commander Amr ibn al as using red banner, and the Kawaray rebels using red banner as well. Banners of the early Muslim army in general, however, employed a variety of colors, both singly and in combination. During the Abbasid Revolution, the Abbasids incorporated the black standard based on the early Islamic eschatological saying that, a people coming from the east with black banners would herald the arrival of the messianic figure Mahdi. The Umayyad opponents, as well as the Shiite Alids chose the color of white to distinguish themselves from the Abbasids. Abbasids continued to deploy black as their dynastic color. However, their caliphal banner was made of white silk with the Quranic inscriptions. The white color was continually adopted by the Ismaili Shiite Fatimid Caliphate, and cemented the association of black and white with Sunni and Shia respectively. Fatimid caliphal banner was decorated in red and yellow, sometimes emblazoned with a picture of a lion. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages. The Ayyubids and Mamluks, succeeding the Fatimid caliphate, retained the association with yellow. The Ayyubid founder Saladin carried a yellow flag adorned with an eagle. Mamluk Sultanich banners were yellow, but on occasion they used red banners. Mongol and Turkic dynasties to the east, including the Ilkhanate, Oghuz Turks and the Seljuk dynasty, preferred the white banner. Religious flags with inscriptions were in use in the medieval period, as shown in miniatures by 13th-century illustrator Yahya ibn Mahmud al-Waziti. 14th century illustrations of the history of the Tatars by Hayton of Coricus 1243 shows both Mongols and Seljuks using a variety of war ensigns. The crescent appears in flags attributed to Tunis from as early as the 14th century Book of Knowledge of All Kingdoms, long before Tunis fell under Ottoman rule in 1574. The Spanish Navy Museum in Madrid shows two Ottoman naval flags dated 1613, both a swallow-tailed, one green with a white crescent near the hoist, the other white with two red stripes near the edges of the flag and a red crescent near the hoist. The hexagram was also a popular symbol among the Islamic flags. It is known in Arabic as Katam Sulayman, Seal of Solomon, or Najmat Dawood, Star of David. The Seal of Solomon may also be represented by a five-pointed star or pentagram. In the Quran, it is written that David and King Solomon, Arabic, Solomon or Sulayman were prophets and kings, and are figures revered by Muslims. The medieval pre-Ottoman Hanafi Anatolian Baliks of the Karamanids and Jandarids used the star on their flag. The Mamluks served the custodian of the two holy mosques during their reign. During this time, they deployed what was believed to be the genuine relic of the Islamic prophet Muhammad's banner. The banner was later captured by the Ottomans, who called the flag, ''Noble Banner'' 
and used it during their military campaign. The flag was made of black wool, according to the Ottoman historian Silada Mehmed Agha, but there is no further information available. <laughs> Pre-modern era Ottoman Empire War flags came into use by the Ottoman Empire in the 16th century, gradually replacing but long coexisting with their traditional toque or horsetail standards. During the 16th and 17th centuries, war flags often depicted the bifurcated sword of Ali, Zulfikar, which was often misinterpreted in Western literature as showing a pair of scissors. A Zulfikar flag used by Selim I d. 1520 is on exhibit in Topkapi Palace. Two Zulfika flags are also depicted in a plate dedicated to Turkish flags in Volume 7 of Bernard Pickett's Ceremonies et Coutumes Religieuses de Taus les Piuples du Monde attributed to the Janissaries and Saipahis. Tanzimat of 1844, the flags of the Ottoman Empire were redesigned in the style of European armies of the day. The flag of the Ottoman navy was made red as red was to be the flag of secular institutions and green of religious ones. As the reforms abolished all the various sub-sultanates, pashaliks, baliks and emirates, a single new flag was designed to replace all the various flags used by these entities with one single national flag. The result was the red and white flag with the crescent moon and star, which is the precursor to the modern Turkish flag. A plain red flag was introduced as the civil ensign for all Ottoman subjects. Mughal Empire The Mughal Empire had a number of imperial flags and standards. The principal imperial standard of the Mughals was known as the Alam It was primarily moss green. It displayed a lion and sun facing the hoist of the flag. The Mughals traced their use of the Alam back to Timur. The imperial standard was displayed to the right of the throne and also at the entrance of the emperor's encampment and in front of the emperor during military marches. According to the Anai Akbari, during Akbar's reign, whenever the emperor rode out, not less than five alams were carried along with the qur, a collection of flags and other insignia wrapped up in scarlet cloth bags. They were unfurled on the days of festivity and in battle. Edward Terry, chaplain to Sir Thomas Rowe, who came during the reign of Jahangir, described in his voyage to East India 1655 that the royal standard, made of silk, with a crouching lion shadowing part of the body of the sun inscribed on it, was carried on an elephant whenever the emperor travelled. Persian Empires the Safavid dynasty (1501–1736) employed various alams and banners, especially during the reign of the first two kings, each with a different emblem. Ishmael I, the first Safavid king, designed a green flag with a golden full moon. In 1524, Tarmasp I replaced the moon with an emblem of a sheep and sun. This flag was used until 1576. It was then that Ishmael II adopted the first lion and sun device, embroidered in gold, which was to remain in use until the end of the Safavid era. During this period the lion and sun stood for two pillars of the society, the state and Islam. The Afsharid dynasty had two royal standards, one with red, white, and blue stripes and one with red, blue, white, and yellow stripes. Nader Shah's personal flag was a yellow pennant with a red border and a lion and sun emblem in the center. All three of these flags were triangular in shape. Nader Shah consciously avoided the using the color green, as green was associated with Shia Islam and the Safavid dynasty. <laughs> <laughs> Modern history Star and Crescent by the mid-20th century, the Star and Crescent was used by a number of successor states of the Ottoman Empire, including Algeria, Azerbaijan, Mauritania, Tunisia, Turkey, the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus and Libya. Because of its supposed Turkic associations, the symbol also came to be used in Central Asia, as in the flags of Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. The Star and Crescent in the flag of Pakistan is stated as symbolizing progress and light", while the green color is stated as representing Islam. 
The star and crescent in these flags was not originally intended as religious symbolism, but an association of the symbol with Islam seems to have developed beginning in the 1950s or 1960s. By the 1970s, this symbol was embraced by both Arab nationalism or Islamism, such as the proposed Arab Islamic Republic 1974 and the American Nation of Islam 1973. The Pan-Arab Flag and Colors The Pan-Arab Colors were first introduced in 1916, with the flag of the Arab Revolt. Although they represent secular Arab nationalism as opposed to Islamism, the choice of colors has been explained by Islamic symbolism in retrospect, so by Mahdi Abdul Hadi in Evolution of the Arab Flag 1986, black as the black standard of Muhammad, the Rashidun Caliphate and the Abbasid Caliphate, white as the flag of the Umayyad Caliphate, green as the flag of the Fatimid Caliphate and red as the flag of the Kawaray. On 30 1917 Hussein bin Ali, Sharif of Mecca, leader of the Arab Revolt replaced his plain red flag with one horizontally striped in black, green, and white with a red triangular area at the hoist. This was seen as the birth of the Pan-Arab flag. Since that time, many Arab nations, upon achieving independence or upon change of political regime, have used a combination of these colors in a design reflecting the Hejaz Revolt flag. These flags include the current flags of Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Egypt, Kuwait, United Arab Emirates, Jordan, Palestinian National Authority, Algeria, and Sudan, and former flags of Iraq and Libya. Topic: <laughs> Contemporary flags. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Islamic states. The modern conceptualization of the Islamic State is attributed to Abul Ayla Maududi (1903–1979), a Pakistani Muslim theologian who founded the political party Jamaat-e-Islami and inspired other Islamic revolutionaries such as Rahola Khomeini. Six internationally recognized states identify as Islamic states: Saudi Arabia, formed 1932 out of the Wahhabist predecessor states; Pakistan, since 1947; Mauritania, since 1958; Iran, since 1979; Yemen, since 1991; and Afghanistan, since 2004 and before 1973. The majority of countries of the Arab world define Islam as their state religion. Most of these states have national flags that include Islamic symbolism. Besides, there are unrecognized jihadist de facto states, such as the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant controlling parts of Iraq and Syria, and the Taliban, al-Shabaab and Boko Haram ruling parts of Afghanistan, Somalia and Nigeria, respectively, which use jihadist flags. Some flags of Muslim states use inscribed flags, either with the Shahada, as in the flags of Saudi Arabia, or in the case of the 1979 Islamic Republic of Iran, stylized writing of the word Allah. The flag of Iraq uses the pan-Arab colors since 1921, with the addition of the takbir since 1991. The practice of inscribing the Shahada on flags may go back the 18th century, used by the Wahhabi religious movement. In 1902 Ibn Sa'd, leader of the House of Sa'd and the future founder of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, added a sword to this flag. The current flag of Saudi Arabia is a continuation of the flag emirate of Nejd and Hassa introduced in 1902. The first East Turkestan Republic of 1933 used it on their flag, and the Taliban introduced it on their flag of Afghanistan in 1997. Topic: Denominational flags. Although a flag representing Islam as a whole does not exist, some Islamic denominational branches and Sufi brotherhoods employ flags to symbolize themselves. Among specific Islamic branches, Nazari branch of Ismaili Shia Islam employs an official flag constitutes of green color, which represents Muhammad's standard and Ali's cloak, as well as a red stripe meaning blood and fire. The flag was ordained by the AGA Khan IV as a part of the new constitution in 1986. The flag is flown on the Ismaili Jamatkhana, a place for congregational worship for Ismaili Muslims during the festive occasions. 
The Ahmadiyya movement also employs an official flag constitutes of black and white colors, first hoisted in 1939. Mirza Tahir Ahmad, the fourth caliph of the Ahmadiyya Caliphate, explained the symbolism of the colors black and white in terms of the concept of revelation and prophethood. Muslim African American religious movement Nation of Islam deploys an official flag known as the Flag of Islam, which symbolizes universal peace and harmony. In Shia Muslim traditions, flags are a significant part of the rituals for the morning of Muharram. Mourners take round the flags or banners in the ritual known as Alam Gardani as a performance for the mourning ceremonies. Mourners also use flags to signal the beginning and the end of the mourning. All flags have guardians and they are passed down through generations. See also Religion in national symbols Christian flag Flag of Israel